Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Can We Give a Coin with a Broken Leg? The First Aliyah. So picture this, the coin walks in to the shul, the cane, crutches, whatever it may be, a broken leg. Can we give him the first Aliyah as a Kohen? You'll say, what kind of question is that? Of course we do that. Whoever heard of a Gabbai, he has to separate between which Kohen gives him the Aliyah to. So what am I thinking? Ah, he had coin as a mum. So you can have a mum over there, a passing one. It's a sham, a broad leg should feel better soon. He should heal. Or you can have a mum, which is a kavua, permanent. And we know that if he was in the migdash, he would be limited in what he could do in the migdash. So you'll say, okay, that's in the migdash. What does that have to do with the giving of an aliyah? Here's the story. It says in Amor v'kidash to'o, ki es lechem alecha humar kriv kadosh yelach, it says, V'kidashto, we give him the Kedusha, we show him. Kedusha, why? Because he's makriv alechem in the Migdash. He brings korbanos in the Migdash. But this Kohen, he cannot bring the korbanos in the Migdash. You'll say, come on. V'kidashto is the mitzvah to give him Kedusha. The Mishaburu and Kuflamid Hay on Arachayim says Kedusha means he gets the first Aliyah. He gets to bench. He does the Zimun. We give him the first portion. He opens up if people are giving the very Torah. And that's for Kedash To. It's from the Torah coin to many. And means, and in general, the Kahuna, that's the group who brings Korbano. But not that he specifically is going to be the one that brings a korban, and if, if he can't bring a korban, we don't have the mitzvah of kavo to him. So I hear that. But the Magen Avram doesn't. The Magen Avram and Reish, Pei Bet, and Hilchot Shab, and Hilchot Kriya Tatora, he writes that a katan who's a kohen, even in the Minak hundreds of years ago, where they used to give children, aliyahs, regular aliyahs used to give children. It's open in the Shulchan Aruch. It's only Mishaburu that says recently that no, we don't do that anymore. But they used to go ahead. A child who knows he's died, he's giving a bracha to Hashem. He knows Hashem. He goes ahead and gets an aliyah. It's open in the Shulchan Achan that he's shown him. Only the Mishaburu says that would make us not to do it anymore. So now you're in a shul a few hundred years ago where you give children aliyot, not just on Simchat Torah, all year long. And who walks in? A Kohen child, a 12 year old Kohen. He's the only Kohen in town. So, the, the Gabbai says, oh, wow, I guess I should give him. He's a coin. Magen Avram says, no, don't give him the first Aliyah. Why? Because since he is not old enough to bring a Lach Mekechu Makriv, he doesn't mean Korbanot, he's a Katan, so therefore there's no Vakidash Tau. Wow. Magen Avram makes a link between Vakidash Tau and Lach Mekechu Makriv, Kidash Tau. Who do we show Kedusha to? Kedash to who? Makriv, the one who is Makriv. So Rabbi Kivega jumps. What are you saying, Magen Avram? Are you saying that someone who is not Makriv, there's no mitzvah of Kedash to? So what are you going to say about whom? A Kohen Balmum. A Kohen Balmum. So you're not going to give a Kohen Balmum the first Aliyah. That sounds preposterous. Now it doesn't sound crazy. The Sifra, quoted by the Chinuch, says openly, a coin with a moon, we do give the mitzvah. We have the mitzvah of a kiddash, though applies to him, even with the moon that he can't do the avoda. So what do you mean, Magen Avram? So Rabbi Yaakov Kamenetsky comes along and says, we could defend the Magen Avram. That yes, the child does not have the kiddash, though. But yet a Kohen Bamum does. We could synthesize the two. Because there's a mitzvah, as we see in the Rambam, and the Malba Mitzvah, and other places, the mitzvah of what's part of the Hakrava process? Not only the bringing of the Korban, which a Kohen with a Mum cannot do, the Achilat HaKorban. The eating of the Korban is part of the mitzvah of the Akrava. And who is part of that mitzvah of the Chalukah? Who gets a chilek? Who? A Kohen even with a mum. 
So therefore, even if you take the first part of Kiddush Torah and you link it to Hu Makriv, that would include a Kohen, regular without a Mum, a Kohen with a Mum, and not a child. So yes, there's a head there, a permit for the child to eat from Kachim, it's true, but he's not part of the mitzvah of the division of the Achila. And therefore, that's how Yaakov Konetsky explains the Magen Avram, how he differentiates between the child and the adult with the mum. The Mishmet Tzot Sahav, the people God does not appreciate this distinction. And he says the Magen Avram seems that he would hold both the child, uh, the child Kohen and the Kohen Balmum. They should be in the same category. Lemai, so we go ahead, we do give Kohanim with broken legs and mums, which would stop them from a vote in the Migdash. We do give them first Aliyah, and we do give them Zimun, and we let them say Amotzi in certain cases. We do give them the mitzvah. But we do maintain that Vakidash does apply to the Kohanim. So Kohan with a broken leg, Shem Rafur Shalem, number one, and the Gabai, no need to worry. You could give them the first Aliyah. Shalom.